the first time you've been to Woolsack recently? No, I came last year. We uh, we, we live in a very uh, nearby village, Avening, it's three miles from Tetbury. So we were here last year, loved it, and then uh, very honoured to be asked to uh, attend and help out today. So I've loved it. And what's in your role today? Ringing a bell, you know, very, very... Uh, menial task compared to what these big strapping boys were doing but uh it was uh, it was fun are you, are you tempted to have a go yourself i'm not but i know a few strapping boys that i might rope into it next year so i'm gonna get a team together for next year i love it so yeah fantastic thanks so much all right so yeah you um, was this the first time you did the world's out racing today yes it's my first time doing anything like this at all and how did you find it? It was very hard. It was surprisingly hard. It kind of, they said it would be difficult kind of in certain patches. I found it difficult from the off, particularly because this is my excuse. In my race was the guy who's established the new world record. So he was off like a jackrabbit. <laughs> and it was me and this other guy, and it was quite good because we were very close together. So I think that helped us both to go a bit faster. But then he had the legs on me at the end and, uh, and I was last. But I've just got to say this, in the next heat, they were all slower than me, so I would have come first to have been in that one. Oh, really? Do you think you'll enter again next year then? Well, I might do, although, I, to be honest, I was partly here because I was doing it for TV, doing it for Countryfile on BBC One. You won't be so, doing it for yourself next year? Well, I don't live right next door. Maybe I've done a bit of training. I could have. We do live on a hill, so uh, I thought I could carry one of my children up. I think they probably weigh about the same as a wool, wool sack. I'd probably wriggle a bit more, but it uh, could be a way of training. Yeah, I was going to say, well, did you do any training for this? Uh, I did go. I did have a run on Friday, um, just to check that I wasn't going to kind of rip a tenner, because actually it could be quite dangerous. I was thinking because you've got, you know, you've got quite a heavy weight on your back. There's a chance of back problems, and there's also, you know, running up a hill. If you haven't done anything at all, you can, can tear tendons and things like that. So you've got to be a bit careful. So I just wanted to be at least sure I wasn't going to do myself an injury or too much of an embarrassment. Sorry. <laughs> and did you have much support behind you, Sophie? Yeah, I had my family here. So that I, I had this little patch in the middle where I could hear them screaming. That was good. And what about, do you think you'll go for the cheese rolling next year or something? Well, I think I might make a habit of turning up with these rural traditions, but uh, I don't know what the competition is in cheese rolling. I never understood how you win. You just have the biggest cheese or what? Anyway, someone's coming in here. More ladies. Fantastic. Thanks very much.